Hi, I'm Brian Denton. I'm the department chair for industrial and operations engineering at University of Michigan. And I'm happy to make this short video to kick off our virtual graduate school workshop. So if you're here, probably interested in learning about the different options for grad school in industrial engineering. Uh, we have two programs. One is a master's program, which typically involves about a year to a year and a half of work, involves course work as well as experiential learning projects and often a summer internship. So what will that do for you? Well, if you're coming from an industrial engineering undergraduate degree, it's going to provide you more advanced skills that will get you access to higher level opportunities at organizations. If you're coming from outside of industrial engineering, and many of our students do come from many other STEM areas. And this is going to open your eyes to a whole range of new ways to use the skills you have and get you access into some very exciting career opportunities down the road. There's also a PhD program. And that's a longer term commitment, typically four to five years. However, you get a salary and your tuition and your benefits, including health benefits, fully covered during the program. This is true of many industrial engineering programs. Uh, you'll work closely with faculty members doing cutting edge research and learning how to new forge directions, forge new directions uh, yourself with your own research career. It'll open up doors to lots of possibilities, including academic opportunities to be a professor or uh, many opportunities in industry and government research labs. A few words about some of the different areas in industrial engineering in a department like ours. Uh, we have a fairly substantial focus on methodology and on applications. So when it comes to theory and methods, these will be things like data analytics, uh, human system integration, operations research, including stochastic systems and optimization. And then we have a focus on a lot of different application areas. Some of the most common are business operations. These would be things like supply chain management, uh, retail analytics, inventory control, and a variety of different kinds of jobs related to the business environment. We have a focus on health and human safety broadly defined, as well as mobility and transportation and energy and sustainability. So I encourage you to look at all the different possibilities, uh, opportunities to focus in on an area that you're particularly excited about. A uh, few words about our program and our university. So we have a well-ranked um, university that surrounds our department, which means there are many opportunities outside of our department as well as inside. We're a well-ranked program, which attracts a lot of interest from employers. Uh, we have a large number of faculty that specialize in a number of different areas. So we offer a full range of different opportunities for you to learn. Um, we have weekly speakers that are coming in from outside of the university. Uh, these are professors at other universities and also industry speakers that you can interact with and learn more about how to get an edge on starting your career and even what industry you might want to start your career in. Uh, we have very active student chapters of professional societies and they organize all kinds of opportunities to learn but also opportunities to socialize and make friends and all of this happens in a very warm and supportive environment. Just to reiterate a little more on the opportunities outside of industrial engineering uh, universities like ours, University of Michigan has many different kinds of certificate programs in a wide range of areas. So these are just a few examples of the kinds of areas that our master's and PhD students avail themselves of. You might get a certificate in precision medicine or in data science or in computational discovery or any of a number of different areas that could spark your interest. So wherever you go, you should look at all the different opportunities inside the department, but also outside the department and even outside of engineering. So where do our students go? Well, the thing about industrial engineering is it opens up doors to every sector of the economy. So our students go on to industry positions 
and a wide range of companies covering almost every industry sector that's out there. And this slide shows a few of the examples. For those who do a PhD, they also have the opportunity to become a faculty member and start a career as a professor at another university in engineering, but also many other possible departments like business and public health, mathematics, and many more. And then there are many opportunities to work for government. These could include things like the armed forces, government research labs, NASA, or many different other uh, government agencies. So there's a lot of opportunities that will be available to you with a graduate degree in industrial engineering. Finally, I wanna say that wherever you decide to go to complete your graduate degree, you should look outside the university as well. Make sure it's an environment and a place that you'll be happy, where you can make friends and enjoy the vibrant life that comes along with being a graduate student. So we will be happy to answer any questions you have. We hope that you'll apply broadly to industrial engineering programs, a master's or a PhD, whatever's right for you. And we certainly hope that you'll apply to industrial and operations engineering at University of Michigan as well. And if this is the right place for you to come, then we'll enjoy seeing you and helping you define the next steps in your career path. So please reach out for help anytime. Thank you and enjoy the rest of this virtual workshop.